Hey everyone, Scott Smith at the Smith team at Keller Williams. Happy Friday, August 6th. I uh, want to share with you uh, a second chance uh, opportunity for you. Um, if you missed the refinance boat uh, or if you uh, maybe want to try and get a little bit lower interest rate, uh, this week uh, with the, I guess, uneasiness with uh, maybe a second surge with COVID, uh, the mortgage rates have actually dropped again uh, to about where they were at their low point uh, a few months ago. So I uh, just wanted to share that little uh uh, public service announcement uh, for you and just actually share uh, some of the numbers. So I did a little math uh, on the old yellow legal pad, uh, crunched some numbers the old fashioned way and came up with uh, some pretty interesting numbers. So if you have a $250,000 mortgage, um, I just estimated at about uh, about three and a half percent. Right now, you could probably lock in uh, at 2.75, if not lower. But just being more on the conservative side, you would save about 100 bucks a month. It doesn't sound like a lot, but over the life of a 30-year fixed rate loan, um, that's going to be well over $10,000. In the first five years, you would probably save about $6,000 uh, with that. So certainly uh, a great opportunity uh, to, to save some money and reinvest that uh, in other places in your home and your financial bank account. Um, if you have a $350,000 mortgage, um, pretty run of the mill uh, at three and a half percent, lock uh, changing rates, refinancing down into 2.75 on a 30 year fixed. That one, you're going to save almost 150 bucks a month. Actually, it was, I think it was $142 and some, some change. Um, over that, the next five years, that would save you over $8,000. So certainly a significant savings uh, in the short term. Um, even if you're planning to move uh, down the road, it certainly makes sense to, to take a closer look at that. Reach out to us. We've got some great lenders uh, that we work with. Um, I would not uh, go through your loan servicer um, because the rates that you're going to be quoted from them will probably be different. Even if you're loan a service state through Wells Fargo or U.S. Bank or, or a different lender, um, they're, the rates on the street are actually better than they would be if you're going right directly through the servicers. So, so certainly reach out to us. We'd be happy to help uh, talk to you through that. The second thing I want to share with you is your private mortgage insurance. Most people have their payment set up through an automatic uh, uh, withdrawal from their bank account. So it goes uh, automatic. Uh, not watching it, but if you get your coupon book or your statement and it says uh, PMI, private mortgage insurance, and you're still paying private mortgage insurance, with the run-up that we've had in values in the last 18 months, two years, um, most people should be able to eliminate their private mortgage insurance. That can also save you another 50, 75, 100 bucks or more a month. And all you would need to do is, if you're refinancing, you could uh, you could roll that in with your um, with your with your loan. Uh, if you don't even want to refinance and you just say, hey, I just want to get rid of my private mortgage insurance, and all it costs is uh, a phone call to your lender, and sometimes they'll actually just eliminate it. Um, otherwise, if you have to document it, they might ask you to do a formal bank appraisal. Costs you about four hundred bucks, but certainly well worth it and a quick quick return on your payoff. So reach out to us; we can help you with that. Doesn't cost anything, no obligation, uh, but we want to be able to help our clients and friends um, save some money and be able to reinvest that back into their future and their home. Uh, any questions, certainly reach out to us. Number's right up on the sign, 651-777-3434, uh, or just find us online. Uh, reach out to us and we're happy to, happy to help you or answer any questions. Take care. Have a great weekend. 